everybody. This is Trevor with Volkswagen Deluxe on the Facebook channel. And today what we're gonna be working on is we're gonna be pulling the motor out of this old um, Volkswagen Porsche here. And we're going to swap it probably into something. I don't know what yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look under the hood here. And uh, what we have here is indeed a Volkswagen Porsche eight cylinder. And uh, it is actually a 6.2 liter Hemi. What did he say? Hey! Oh. Um, that, don't mind that. That just means it takes two times the amount of car it would any other car to beat this car. Um, so we're gonna be pulling the motor out of this thing today using nothing but two nickels, a toothbrush, and a napkin. Um, and then we're gonna find something to put it in. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this car. It's a fully functional car. I just want to take this thing out and put it in something else. What is going on guys? I am Tyler and this is TLC Automotive. All right, everybody, for today's video, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to install the new dash. That is right, people. The dash is going in this video. It is going down, it is happening. So last week, as you guys may have recalled, we installed this carpet. I still haven't got the adhesion put on uh, the bottom of the carpet to actually mold down to the floor pan itself. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all four corners unscathed, untouched, uh, just because because in the near future, I have to get to these little panels right here to do the cab mounts for the truck. And I don't want to have to potentially rip or tear this brand new carpet that we just installed last week just to get to those cab mounts. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna leave those four corners untouched and I will um, adhesion promote all the stuff in the middle um, along the transmission tunnel and everywhere else except those four corners. But like I just said, today is a gorgeous day. It's a little on the humid side, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to go ahead and get this dash mocked in here. Um, hopefully we can get everything tightened up, get the dash set in beautifully. Um, and then guys, we are only two steps away from having the full interior completely redone in this truck. And that is going to be these door panels here and getting our brand new bucket seats put in. Now that being said, we're going to have to make a couple trips up and down the stairs. Now the first thing that we're going to have to do is first off, we're going to have to get all this junk out of the floor. Uh, when I want to have to drop the steering column again. Uh, since taking all that stuff off, I've actually drove this truck to a different town on the highway and it was sketchy. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get that dash put in um, and then we're going to have to get our brand new trim done. Uh, that is probably going to be a next week's video is getting our bead pillar, um, our back piece molding here and our threshold plates done and then getting our pillars back here done. Um, I'm going to have to buy some more dye and we got all brand new parts sitting over there in the Jetta and we can get all that installed guys i literally have everything i need and guys since then i have done um a couple of the accessories that actually attach to the dash themselves completely off camera so the original glove compartment lid is still uh, going on this dash i just cleaned it and dyed it black and so are all the vents for the ac duct and a couple other trim pieces that are actually off my old dash are going on the new dash so these are all original parts and they're going on the new dash now okay so there are actually a couple things we have to do before installing the dash and that requires putting some parts on the dash um, which consists of these right here Now here's the dash. She's been sitting a while. Sadly, she's been neglected. She got a little dirty, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. You can clean it out. Um, these two parts actually have to go on. This, this channel right here gets all these wires, holds them up here so they're not drooping down under the dash, making it look all gross. This is all the hardware for the dash. And then this is our parking brake. Sits right here. We actually install that right now. You just slide it through. Bam, and she's on. So there's a couple pieces of hardware we actually need for this channel that are still on the old dash and it's these little clips right here. I was able to pull the channel off with one of them still on there, but we need all four of them unless we want a nice rattle noise. To try to figure out how to get those off without breaking them or bending them too bad, stick them on that and then we can stick that on that and then we can stick that in there and then we can drive it. There's one, there's two, number four. 
pretty bad when your camera keeps overheating so you got to put all your electronics and stuff inside after a little finagling i was able to get that channel put on the back of the dash kind of just getting my wires laid out the way i need to before i set the dash in there uh, it is going to be very tricky just because i don't want to scratch that dash um, I'm not really too, too worried about it on the sides because that stuff can be touched up, but I'm talking about more on the face and the surface of the dash itself. Boy, is it hot out here. It is definitely warm for sure. First things first again, we're gonna have to, excuse me, we're gonna have to drop our steering column. So we need to remove that nut and the nut on the opposite side and our steering column will drop. All right, let's go ahead and grab our 15 millimeter socket and remove these and our column should drop. Set those off to the side and now our column is free. Now getting everything set back into place when the dash is um, reinstalled is a whole different story. Um, so I'm not really gonna show a whole lot of getting my wires and stuff sat and ran through the dash just because I have a video of taking it all apart. If none of you guys have seen that video, go watch it. It's gonna basically show you how to take everything out of the dash um, as far as wiring harness and all your hardware. Go and watch that and then just do the complete opposite of what I did back I'm just gonna go ahead and get the dash set in here. I will show that. I will show what it looks like when it's in in place. But as far as running my wires and getting that stuff done, I'm just gonna do that off camera, um, just for the simple fact that it's already been done before. So, yeah, let's get this dash in here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this thing set in, and we're gonna try to hurry up and do it because the camera is overheating as we speak, and I kind of want to just hurry up and get this thing set in here and look at it as it's set. <laughs> definitely a two-person job um, I don't have a second person I could ask Kayla but she's currently studying for a new job right now and I don't want to bother her so it looks like it's just you and me That clamp over all thread right there. The camera will focus. There we go. I gotta do that on both sides. Let's see there. I'm definitely gonna need uh, another hand in this. <sighs> Sucks. This is how I have it right now. It is just sitting there. I'm going to have to have another set of hands on this. Uh, just because one, it is way too hot and my camera is functioning and overheating. And two, I need me or somebody on this side and vice versa on that side just to get those, uh, just get that retaining clip, that piece right there on that all thread and to get it seated on there properly. And I still have to run all my wires, but it is just way too hot right now. So I'm gonna go in, spend some time with Kayla, uh, possibly relax for a little bit and come back out here when my camera will actually want to cooperate. Hey everybody, it is currently the next day. I was not able to get a lot of stuff done uh, just for the simple fact that it was so hot that my camera was actually having a hard time staying on without overheating and uh, my, my footage was kind of laggy in some spots, so I decided to just take the rest of the day off, spend it with my family. But I have a special guest coming over today, my buddy Dylan, uh, the same guy who fixed my wiring harness for me. Uh, he's gonna come over and help me set this dash into place correctly um, and just give me a hand because I don't think I'll be able to do it myself. Um, we actually just got done having lunch and he was running into town to do some stuff anyways. I ran Kayla some lunch because she's working today, but we're heading back to the house now. We're gonna get that dash put into place hopefully before this rain moves in. And yeah, so hopefully we can get everything put into place, get the wires ran onto the dash and have this thing set in correctly. 
So that's gonna be the rest of the video. There's not gonna be much else I'm doing today and we are completely booked for tomorrow. So I have to get this done today or is at least as much done as possible. All right, everybody. Uh, my buddy Dylan just left. I didn't record the install. I should have because we didn't take it out not once, not twice. We had to take it out three times uh, just to get everything in the right place and the right order. It is in, guys. It is in. It ain't going nowhere. It is secure and it looks absolutely awesome. Now, all I have to do is run my wires to where they're supposed to be, get my speedometer put back in and all my trimmings put back on and it is a complete dash and he came over and worked his tail off to help me get this thing in there he, he literally took charge i mean he got in here and got it done he's really smart and complex when it comes to this kind of stuff guys and that's just what it is when you got car guys who are friends with car guys um sometimes they specialize in stuff i'm specializing in tearing stuff off and tearing stuff apart and i mean i could put stuff back together but he specializes in thoroughness and cleanliness and just neatness and we got it doesn't look like much now but we got the dash in and it looks sweet first time we had to take it off is because we couldn't get the stabilizing brackets for the steering column to line up correctly so we had to take it out then we put it in and got all all of our bolts tightened down had all of our fasteners in and realized that the air vent housing this piece and it runs all along the entire dash itself was not in so we had to take it all out again and it just was not the best time uh, but guys it's in there it is finally done um, like I said all I have to do is put all my trimmings back onto the dash and it is a fully functional dash I am going to get aftermarket speakers and new aftermarket head unit to go in its place of the single den sitting over there it's done guys this thing is coming together a lot faster so let me run upstairs and I'll grab all my trimmings and kind of just put it into place and show you guys kind of like in perspective view on how everything is going to look once it's all put back together it's going to look just like a normal OEM dash but black they did not come black from the factory but that's kind of why i was excited to get everything done in black and there it is everybody uh there's the dash in almost 100 completion i still have to get my vent sprayed and treated for that bezel right there and then i also have to get my speakers and new bezels for on top of the dash and then there is a face plate that i'm going to have done in carbon fiber that is going to go around the uh the tack it has been a long process coming and i can't be more excited that the dash is finally in there and that uh, um, all my trim is finally back together with where it's supposed to be. It looks slick, everybody. It looks really, really good. I can't say anything else other than wow. It really complements the black carpet. It looks like a totally different truck. Uh, this truck probably hasn't had a solid dash in it in over a decade. Um, I got to wipe everything down and vacuum because obviously I got grass and stuff in there. But guys, you can already see how clean it looks. It looks really, really awesome. It was a long time in the making for saving up for the dash and actually being able to be blessed enough to uh, buy the dash. As soon as I get that carbon fiber panel in there, which I'm having it one off made specifically for this truck, I'm not buying it off eBay. I'm not uh, I'm not buying it third party made. I'm, I have a friend who's actually going to make that entire face bezel out of 100% carbon fiber and it is going to look sweet. There it is y'all. She is coming along nicely and pretty soon she'll be ready to drive again. I gotta tuck all my wires and stuff. It'll obviously come with time. Um, what I was really worried about was just getting it in there and getting it mounted solidly. Is that even a word? Anyways, guys. All right, so let's get one close up of the entire dash and everything that's done to it so far. And we'll go ahead and end this video. think that's going to do it for this video um like i said uh thank you to dylan and his wife for coming out here today treating me to lunch and coming over to help me work on tiny so guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video turn on notifications right here and comment like and subscribe if you liked what you saw on today's youtube video um, we really appreciate you stopping by here and checking out what's going on with tiny uh, we've made lots of progress so we really appreciate you guys we love you and we hope to see you next time peace